Good evening, Juliet. I hope you're doing well. I have something that I need to ask you about. So I'd appreciate it if you could give me just a moment of your time this evening. Hello, Bianca. It's nice to hear from you. It's been quite a while since we last spoke. I honestly had forgotten you had my line account info. A little birdie told me that you were going to that new Korean barbecue restaurant downtown this Saturday. Is that true? Uh, I'm sorry. How did you hear about that? My son David heard about it from your boy Merlin the other day. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess that would make sense. Merlin and David are in the same class. Ah, so it is true then. Well, yes. We've been planning on it for weeks now. We're having a celebration for a family member, so we decided to have the whole family get together. Oh, isn't that nice? And you're really going to that new place? I'm so jealous. I keep asking my husband to take me there, but he never does. Yeah, like you said, it's pretty new, so it's no easy feat to get a reservation with them. I was surprised we were able to make ours. Right. I heard they're fully booked for one month from now. So I hope you don't mind that we'll be tagging along. Tagging along? Uh, you mean... It's been so long since I've been to a good restaurant. I'm so excited. I'll be sure to save up my appetite. I might just skip lunch that day. Actually, I might skip breakfast too. Uh, Bianca... What is it, Juliet? Um, I'm not sure how to put this, but are you really trying to invite yourself to a celebration for my family? Of course, I am, dear. Uh, okay. So you were serious. I'm sorry, Bianca, but like I said before, this is a private celebration for a family member, so only family members are coming. So, no. I'm afraid you're not going to be able to join us. What? Don't be ridiculous. Your son told my son about the party, didn't he? That's as good as invitation in my book. Why else would he go out of his way to talk about it? Unless he was implying that we were invited to. That's nothing even close to an invitation. Merlin's just really excited about it as all. He's been talking to all his friends about it for the last week or so. And in any case, I'm not sure how anyone could consider a conversation between two five-year-old boys to have any sort of implied invitation, much less your whole family. I don't believe what I'm hearing. At the very least, your son was gloating about how he was going to go to a fancy restaurant for a party, and that's incredibly rude. So to make up for your son's behavior, you're going to let us come with you and that's final. Bianca, again, I'm sorry, but you're not coming to the dinner. This party was organized by my husband's family members. He is the one who's footing the bill for this whole thing. I can't go abusing his generosity by bringing along my son's friend's whole family. Don't you see? Don't think you can hide anything from me, Juliet. This relative of yours, isn't he the CEO of the award-winning architectural design firm that just put up a brand new office building downtown? How did you know that? If I recall correctly, I believe he's your husband's uncle, isn't he? He and my father-in-law were classmates in college. Ah, well, I guess it's a small world, huh? That's not very many people in the city who have the money and influence to be able to get a reservation at that restaurant. Much less be able to pay for a party for their whole family there. You're quite the sleuth, aren't you? And with how often our boys play together at school, we may not be officially related, but we're practically family, aren't we? I'm not really sure what you mean. And since we're practically family, then, we have every right to join in family events. That doesn't even make the slightest bit of sense. We're looking forward to this Saturday. We'll be sure to be there at least 15 minutes before the reservation time so that we can get started as soon as possible. Bianca, 
Are you listening to me? I've told you time and time again. No, you may not come to the dinner, Bianca. Hey, Malcolm. Are you done at work yet? I need to talk to you as soon as possible. We've got a big, big, big problem on our hands. Yeah, I just got finished a little bit ago. What's going on? It's about the party on Saturday. Ah, uh, yeah. The Korean barbecue dinner my uncle is throwing for us. What about it? Uh-oh. Did something come up? Are you not going to be able to make it anymore? No, it's not that. It's something a million times worse than that. Gee, sounds really serious. What's the problem? There's this woman, Bianca. She's the mother of one of Merlin's classmates. And she's bound and determined that she's going to join us at the party. What? How did this happen? What made her think she could come? She said that Merlin was going around to the other kids at school, bragging that he was going to eat at a fancy new restaurant. But when I asked Merlin about it just now, he said that he had only told one person, a friend of his, that he was going to eat Korean barbecue on Saturday and that he was really excited about it. He didn't tell Bianca's son about it at all. He just happened to overhear the conversation. He went home and told his mom about it. And whether it was his lie or Bianca's embellishment, I'm not sure. But, well, here we are. I'm not sure I'm understanding this. How did that result in her thinking she could invite herself to our family's dinner? I'm just as confused as you are. I have no idea what in the world is going on inside that head of hers. I'll show you our text conversation later. But she was jumping to the conclusion after conclusion and using the most strained, bizarre explanations to justify it. I told her I forgot how many times she couldn't come. But she just ignored me and said, See you Saturday! And that was the last message she sent me. Hmm. Wait a minute. I think I might know this woman you're talking about. You said her name's Bianca, right? Is she David's mom by any chance? Uh, yeah, she is. But how did you know about her? How could I not? That woman is legendary. Everyone at the daycare knows about her. This isn't the first time she's tried to barge her way into other people's lives in order to get free food. She's a repeat offender. You wouldn't believe how many of the mothers have told me that she's invited them out to lunch only to say, oops, I forgot my wallet. Then she asks them to pay with the promise that she'll pay it back, but never does. I also heard that she always takes an empty bowl with her when she goes to other people's houses, and after she leaves, they notice that a lot of their leftovers have mysteriously vanished. Holy moly whack-a-moly! What kind of person does that? That's why she never gets invited to any of the mother's group events at the school. All the other moms are sick and tired of her mooching off them constantly. Jeez, Malcolm. I didn't even know about all that. You sure know a lot about her. Yeah, a co-worker of mine told me the other day that Bianca had been targeting his wife for the last several weeks until he put a stop to it. Once he caught on to her, he always made sure that he was in the room whenever Bianca came over and talked to his wife and eventually, Bianca realized that she wasn't going to get anywhere with them anymore. Oh, yikes. That's insane. I never really interacted with her very much before. I had no idea that's what she's like. Well, now you know. You need to watch your back too, Juliet. What do you mean? What else? She's obviously chosen you as her next mark. Oh. Oh no. This is terrible. What do you think I should do? For the time being, the first thing we should do is tell Merlin not to talk about the family dinner to anyone else at school from now on. You need to be careful to make sure you don't give out any specific details, like where or when it's happening to anyone at the school. Actually, don't talk about it at all to anyone other than family. Yeah, you're right. That's probably for the best. Also, I'll take care of dropping Merlin off and picking him up from school this week. 
It's actually great timing since I was planning on working from home this week anyway. Thanks a lot, Malcolm. I'm sorry that you have to do this because of me. Anything for you, dear. Hello, Juliet. Today is the highly anticipated day of our big Korean barbecue dinner, and I'm absolutely thrilled. I'll be bringing my entire family along, so please ensure you keep five seats open for us. Bianca, I distinctly recall telling you that you weren't invited. There's no seats for you and your family. We've already provided the restaurant with a guest list, and we can't make any changes. Oh. Come on, don't be absurd. It's as simple as calling the restaurant and requesting a few more seats. I highly doubt they'll run out of meat, and even if they do, they can easily send a staff member to the supermarket to restock. Problem solved. And what restaurant are we talking about? <laughs> you can't fool me, Juliet. I know you've been avoiding me this week, attempting to keep the details of the dinner from me. You even went so far as to have your husband take Merlin to school to avoid encountering me, didn't you? Your little scheme is transparent. You need to stop pretending. There's nothing you can do to prevent me from finding out, Juliet. In fact, we're already here. We arrived at the restaurant about 10 minutes ago. It's a delightful place. Wait, you're already there? That's... interesting. I hope you don't mind if we start grilling the meat. My boys are famished. We went ahead and ordered 10 plates of the super premium course, so there might be some left for you if you hurry up. Well, that's unexpected, but kind of you, I guess. It felt amazing leaving the house without worrying about having enough cash or remembering to bring my wallet. It's so generous of you to treat us to such a delectable meal. Oh, the waitress is returning to the table. I'll go ahead and order another round of the super premium set. We've devoured most of the first round. It was delicious. The aroma of grilling meat truly is delightful. I'm glad you're enjoying yourself. Oh, I forgot about drinks. I need to call the waitress back. What kind of wine do you prefer, Juliet? I've always wanted to try the Dom Perignon, so I'll go ahead and add a bottle to the tab. But thinking about it, it might be a bit much for my kids. I ordered another super premium course for them. They're growing boys after all, and they'll have no trouble finishing it. I'll inform you when the waitress brings the check, so be sure to have your credit card number ready. Juliet, where on earth are you? We've combed through the entire restaurant looking for you and your family, but you're nowhere to be found. Perhaps you're in one of the private rooms? It doesn't matter much. I know you're here somewhere. Oh, Juliet, tonight's meal has been the most satisfying I've had in years. The rest of the family relish it too. In fact, we were so enthralled that we ended up ordering a whooping 25 plates of the super premium course. <laughs> I'm so stuffed. I couldn't possibly eat another bite. As it was getting late, we were just about to head back to the car and head home. Um, yes, and the waitress just handed me the check. The total came to 4,000 grand. Could you be a dear and bring your credit card to the front counter? You spent $4,000 on food just for your own family? Hold on a minute. Let me confirm my understanding. David has two older brothers, correct? That's right. So with you and your husband, that makes a total of five people, right? And yet, you consume 25 orders of meat with only five people, including a five-year-old? Well... My two older boys are teenagers, you know? My oldest is on the football team, the star of the defensive line. You know what they say, growing boys need their nutrition. And let me tell you, they got plenty of nutrition today. Thanks again for this incredible dinner, Juliet. I'll be waiting for you at the counter as mentioned. I hope you have a high credit card limit. Juliet, where are you? Answer me. I can't believe this. You're not at the restaurant? 
Then where on earth are you? What is it, Bianca? Don't what is it, me? You have to pay the check. Didn't you see my message? The total is $4,000. You need to come and pay for it right now. But why aren't you at the restaurant? Where are you? What are you doing? Restaurant? I'm sorry, Bianca. I'm not sure what you're talking about. What restaurant are you referring to? Now is not the time for games, Juliet. This is serious. I know you got a reservation at the new Korean barbecue restaurant downtown. The super exclusive one. The one that your husband's rich uncle reserved for you for your party. Bianca, we're not at a restaurant. We're having a catered party at my husband's uncle's house. You what? A catered party? They don't do catering. I've never heard of a Korean barbecue doing catering before. Yeah, that's why I was surprised we could get a reservation. I guess he had to pull a few strings. So you're not at the restaurant for real? No, we're not. What gave you the impression that we were? But you said that you were going to have a party at an expensive Korean barbecue restaurant. No, I said we were going to have a party and that we were going to get meat from an expensive Korean barbecue restaurant. I never said that we were going to have a party at the restaurant. Weren't you listening? But that that's what? My husband's uncle has a vacation home down by the lake. It's really nice. Has its own private dock and everything. But anyway, he invited the whole family down to that lake house for a party. That's where we are right now. Wait, then how are you? And since we wanted to have a pleasant celebration where the whole family could relax and enjoy each other's company, he had the restaurant cater a party here rather than going to the restaurant to eat. So what about me? What am I supposed to do about this $4,000 bill they're asking me to pay? I would never have eaten this much if I thought I was going to have to pay for it. I thought you were paying for it. Bianca, I never once said that I was going to pay for your dinner. As a matter of fact, I explicitly said that you were not invited to the party. But I told you that I was invited. I told you that I was invited. So I was invited and that's all there is to it. I told you that you were paying. So you're paying and that's final. And besides, what kind of cruel, heartless, unfeeling woman would pull a trick like this on a dear friend? I might have to tell the other mothers at school about your treachery. I'm sure they'd be utterly appalled at your awful behavior. So this is your last warning. Get down here and pay the bill this instant. Bianca, I'm not sure how you got the impression that we're friends, but we're not. Not even close. We're barely even acquaintances. Excuse me? The only reason that I even gave you my contact info was because our kids were in the same class and we might need to contact each other in an emergency. It turns out that your David and my Merlin aren't even that good of friends. They barely ever play with each other. Furthermore, I've heard that you've been going around taking financial advantage of just about all the other mothers in class, and most of them have cut off all contact with you. So do you really think that anyone's going to be concerned at all with any sort of gossip you may try to spread around about me? I don't believe what I'm hearing. Are you trying to say that I'm some outcast? That everyone sees me as nothing but a moocher? Yep. Really? So, like I said, I don't think the words of someone with a reputation as bad as yours will carry much weight at all, especially considering most of the mothers are your victims anyway. If you want to try and defame me, go ahead and make my day. Hey. Now, if you will excuse me, I have a party to get back to. And we just cracked open our third bottle of Don Perignon. Wait, hold on. I, I can't pay a $4,000 bill. I left my wallet at home. Please, Juliet, please pay the bill for me. The restaurant staff had caught on to Bianca and her family's attempt at an eat and run, having contacted the police in advance. When they tried to make a swift exit, law enforcement intervened. Luckily for Bianca, she had a lifeline in the form of a father-in-law who rushed down to the restaurant and settled the bill. Unfortunately, 
The embarrassing incident was captured on video by a bystander and swiftly uploaded to various social media platforms, turning it into a global sensation. Attempting to escape the incessant ridicule from their neighbors, Bianca and her family decided to relocate. However, the video had already circulated widely, haunting their reputation wherever they went. Job hunting proved to be a daunting task as potential employers had seen the viral footage. Now unemployed and facing homelessness, Bianca and her family experienced the consequences of their actions. Bianca's three sons found refuge with their grandfather, who operates a karate school. They transferred schools, expressing apologies for their mother's behavior. With the hope that Bianca's father-in-law instills proper values in them, the future remains uncertain for Bianca, who may be facing consequences too late to amend.